any comfortable seated posture. Relaxed shoulders, relaxed jaws, relaxed forehead. If you have any frown or tension in your face from the previous conversation, meeting, situation, let the breaths wash them away. Relaxing breath, deep breaths. After three deep breaths, stay with your normal breaths. <laughs> Simply being present. To the experience of normal breathing. Let everything else wait as you lovingly pay attention to your own experience. Of normal breathing. This is miraculous. If the mind wanders away, and then you notice that, begin again. Palms to the heart center. Namaskar Mantra. Think of someone that you love and respect. Dedicate this at your best session to that person. Chin to the chest. Opening your eyes. 
inhaling, taking the arms by the side, pressing the palms, looking up, exhaling, arms coming down, looking down, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. One last round, inhaling up, exhaling down. Release, come up to standing. Broad stance. Thank you, Rajiva, for joining our video. I think uh, Manjit and Santo are on vacation. Hands on your waist, take a deep breath. Inhaling, take your arms up and toward the back as you move your hips forward, back bend. Exhaling, bending from the hips forward, hugging yourself tightly, chin to the chest. Four more rounds. You can bend your knees as you bend forward. When you bend backward, keep the knees straight, moving your hips forward. After completing five rounds, hands on the waist, take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up to the sides, parallel to the ground, palms facing the front. Inhale center, exhaling, bending toward the right leg. Right ear falling down to the right shoulder, left arm up and over. Left fingers reaching for the right wall, left palm still facing the front. Um, Rajiva, take your left arm toward the right wall. Yes, very good. Inhaling center. Exhaling, bending toward the left leg. Left arm hanging behind the left leg. Right fingers reaching for the left wall, inhaling center. Four more rounds. After completing five rounds, hands on the waist, take a deep breath. Arms up, parallel to the ground, to the sides, palms facing the front. Inhale center, exhaling, twisting to the right as much as you can. Turn your head, look past the right shoulder, inhaling center. Exhaling, twisting to the left as best as you can. Inhaling center, four more rounds.
the later rotations, rounds of rotation, you might be able to see further to the back. After completing five rounds, hands on the waist, take a deep breath, exhale. Um, slightly turning your toes away just a bit. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Inhaling, bend your knees deeply, sitting back in the imaginary chat behind you. Exhaling, coming up. When you're bending, the knees are going toward where the toes are pointing to. Four more rounds. Bend your knees deeply as best as you can. You might feel the posture in your inner thighs. Inhaling, going down, exhaling, coming up. Total five rounds. After completing five rounds, bring your feet comfortably closer. Take a deep breath, exhale. Come to cat posture. Knees hip width apart. Feet hip width apart, toes pointing to the back. Knees right underneath your hip joints. Shoulders right over your wrist. Inhaling, look up. Allow the spine to hang down. Abdomen come completely relaxed to allow the spine, the lumbar curve to go deeper. Next exhalation, chin to the chest, spine up. Let the lumbar curve rise up, straighten up. Four more rounds. After completing five rounds, take a deep breath, exhale. Come to plank posture. Head, neck, spine, legs are all aligned. Abdomen fully engaged. Shoulder blades on your back, just a bit away from each other. Your entire weight is on your palms and toes. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Adho Mukeshwanasana, downward facing dog. You can bend your knees. Focus on getting your head toward the mat and seat bones toward the ceiling. Shoulder blades on your back gently coming toward each other. Rooting your palms and fingers, digging your palms and fingers into the mat. Deep breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk your palms toward your feet slowly. Hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up. 
release your arms, stand relaxed. The only thing that is expected is for you to find your own edge with each posture courageously and wisely acknowledging the edge as you spend few moments with your edge. It is a, a simple habit of reaching for the edge courageously and wisely acknowledging and spending few moments with that edge. This can transform our lives. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Namaskar Mudra. Three rounds of Surya Namaskara with attention and diligence begin. It does not matter what others' edges are at all. It only matters if you are courageously reaching for your own edge, which could be a millimeter away, 10 millimeters or 100 millimeters, it does not matter. If you are um, on autopilot and your mind is far away, begin again with this breath. A 
after completing three rounds, separate your feet comfortably, stand relaxed, soft gaze forward and down. Being present with your breaths. Being present, whether you are approaching an edge or comfortably within the range. Being present, that is the practice. Three deep breaths. Let us approach few twisting postures. Before we approach some twisting postures, let us few more back and on side bending postures in preparation for twisting postures. Let us begin with a broad stance. Hands on the wrist. Let us get comfortable with the bending sideways. With your right elbow pointing to the right wall, left elbow pointing to the right and left wall. Keep that now your elbows, shoulders, head, they're all in one line with your legs. Keeping the same, making the same plane as a plane of movement, bending toward your right leg. Bending toward your right leg. Turn and look over your left shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling center. Take a deep breath. Bending toward the left leg. Turn your head and look over the right shoulder. You might also feel the postures on your inner legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling center. Bring your feet comfortably closer. Release the arms. Let's try the same thing with the support of a wall. Stand with your back against a wall. Your heels are touching the wall, your glutes, your shoulder blades. Separate your feet, broad stance. Hands on the waist. Now, the idea is when I said bend in the same plane, to make sure that we are bending in the same plane, we are going to use the wall as a prop and a reference. Inhale, exhaling, bending toward the right leg, keeping your shoulder blades and glutes continuing to touch the wall. And turn your head and look over the left shoulder. 
your left shoulder might come off the wall. And if it is, consciously take the left shoulder blade back to the wall. You might have to straighten up a bit to do that, but do that. Look over the left shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling center. This might seem unnatural, perhaps a bit. But uh, Trikonasana, which we are going to approach, it requires us to bend or the plane of movement, the same plane as you start, without breaking the plane with the shoulder, upper shoulder. Inhale, exhaling, bending toward the left leg. Look over the right shoulder. If the right shoulder blade had come off the mat, Straighten up and take your right shoulder back and then bend further down. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling center. Take a deep breath, exhale. I think uh, Rajiva's video is frozen. Turn your right foot away so your right foot is now parallel to the wall. We're going to approach Trikonasana, but we're going to make sure that our shoulder blades are continuing to touch the mat. With your right foot turned away and right foot is parallel to the wall, inhale center. With the hands on the waist first, bend toward your right leg with the right knee being straight. Right knee straight. Keep the right knee straight throughout the practice. Now make sure both your shoulder blades are on the wall. Now allow your left arm to hang loose between your right leg and the wall. Left arm up toward the ceiling. Bring the left arm to touch the wall. Gazing at your left thumb. Trikonasana. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands on the waist. Inhaling, straighten up. Rotate your right foot in. Take a deep breath. Now let us approach Trikonasana on the left side. Rotate your left foot out. Now left foot is parallel to the wall. Hands on the waist. Keep the left knee straight. Inhale center. Exhaling, bending toward the left knee. Keeping the shoulder blades connected with the wall. Now allow your left arm to hang loose between your left leg and the wall. Take your right arm up toward the ceiling. Right arm connecting with the wall. Turn and look at your right thumb. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the waist. Inhaling, straighten up. Bring your feet comfortably closer. Stand relaxed. I think uh, Rajiva has a um, network problem. If any of you else are ready to come on the screen, would appreciate it. Thank you, Aruna. Thank you so much. Now let us approach. Parshvakonasana with the wall support. Separate your legs comfortably wider. Hands on the wrist. 
rotate your right foot out. And so right foot is now parallel to the wall. Now your glutes and shoulder blades are all connecting with the wall. Now bend your right knee, bring the right knee on top of the right ankle and slide the back foot further back so you can bring your right thigh parallel to the ground. Sorry, yeah, parallel to the ground to the extent you can. Even while you do that, your back shoulder blades are connecting to the mat. Very good. Now, with your hands on your waist, inhale, exhaling, bending toward the right knee first. Bending, yes, good. Keep the shoulder blades connected with the wall. Very nice. Now, allow your right arm to hang loose between your right knee and the wall. Very good. And then left arm up and over. Left arm touching the wall, left arm and up and over, very nice. And then gazing at your left fingertips. Parshvakonasana with the wall support. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the waist, inhaling, come up. Take the feet exactly where they are. Take a deep breath. Rotate your right foot in and left foot out. Now left foot is parallel to the wall. Let there be a bit of a gap between your left leg and the wall, but your shoulder blades are touching the wall. Bend your left knee. Left thigh parallel to the ground if you can. Bend toward the left knee. Allow the left arm to hang between the left leg and the wall. Right arm up toward the ceiling first and then over, up and over. And see if you can gaze at your left fingertips. Five, four, three, two, one, hands on the waist, inhaling, come on. Come off the wall, stand relaxed. Take a deep breath. Uh, okay. Was there a question? I guess not. Take a deep breath. Now let us approach Harivurtha Parshvapanasana with wall support. Stand um, with your right shoulder with, against the wall. Right shoulder against the wall. Yes, turn. Uh, yes, exactly, Aruna. Yes, exactly. Good. Now step your right foot forward. And now right foot is uh, step forward as far as you can. Big step forward. Now your right shoulder is against the wall. Now bend your right knee and see if you can make your right thigh parallel to the ground. Slide your back foot further back. Let there be some gap between your right leg and the wall. Now, turn and face the wall. Turn and face the wall as much as you can. Your shoulders are turning. Shoulders are turning and facing the wall. Um, Rajiva, shoulders are turning and facing the wall. 
uh, you need you need bit more gap with, with your right leg. Right leg cannot be flush against the wall. Um, yeah, little bit. Uh, now you are able to turn. Very nice. Good. Now, now lean forward toward your right knee. And allow the right left palm to left palm place the left palm on the wall down and right palm on the wall up. Yes. Now left palm going down toward the left foot as much as it can. And once you reach as much twist as you can get with the wall support. Just acknowledge the edge and stay with the edge. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly inhaling, straighten up. Rotate your right foot in. Or, in fact, walk back and relax walk back and relax the wall support it gives not only a physical support it also gives psychological support for us to twist remember in parivitta parshokona we usually take our elbow over the thigh and we stop that but with the to take your palm down toward foot outside of the front foot. Let's try this with the other side. Stand with your left shoulder against the wall. Left shoulder against the wall. When I say left shoulder against the wall, the left foot is a bit away from the wall. The left foot cannot be flush against the wall because we're, we're going to actually need some room there. Now walk your left foot forward, big step forward. Left foot parallel to the wall, slide your right foot back. So as you bend your left knee, your left knee can be, left thigh can be parallel to the ground. Very nice. Now turn your shoulders and face the wall. as much as you can. Now lean forward toward the left knee. Very good. Place the right palm on the wall down. Left palm up. Slide your right palm down toward your right foot. And if you can, gaze at your left thumb. Parivirta. Parshvakonasana with wall support. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly and otherwise inhaling, come on. Bring your feet comfortably closer, stand relaxed. Now let us approach Parivirta Parshvakonasana without wall support. Let's see how best we can come to the front of the mat. Tadasana. Namaskar Mudra. Inhaling back bend. Exhaling forward bend. Inhaling, right foot back, long step back. Left foot back, plank. Adhomka Shvanasana, downward facing dog. Separate your feet, hip width the foot. Inhaling, right foot forward, place the right foot closer to the right palm. 
and place the back foot flat on the mat. Hands on the waist, inhaling, come up and face where your right toes are pointing to. Your shoulders, your gaze, they're all pointing to where the right toes are pointing to. The back foot is 45 degrees turned inward. Now your hips, shoulders, gaze, they're all pointing to where the right toes. Now bend your right knee. Bend your right knee. Namaskara Mudra. Lean forward toward the right knee. Now turn your upper body toward your right side. Your right shoulder going up toward this shoulder going down. And take your left elbow over the right knee and extend the left arm downward if you can. Otherwise, simply keep the left elbow on the right. Now, if you're extending your left arm down, extend the right arm up. Otherwise, simply keep Namaskar Mudra. Five, four, three, two, one. Namaskar Mudra. Inhaling, come up. Ashva Sanchalana. Right foot back, plank. Knees down. Take your seat bones toward your heels, head down. Relax your arms. Relax. Separate your knees as comfortably as you need to. Allow your abdomen to breathe. Take a deep breath. Come to cat posture. Plank posture. Adho Mukeshwanasana, downward facing dog. Separate your feet hip width apart. Inhaling, left foot forward, place the left palm, sorry, left foot closer to the left palm. Place the back foot flat on the mat, hands on the waist, inhaling come up, face where the left toes are pointing to. Your hips, shoulders, gaze, they're all pointing to where the left toes are pointing. Bend your left knee, bring the left knee on top of the left ankle, left thigh parallel to the ground if you can. Back foot 45 degrees turned inward. Namaskar Mitra. Lean forward. From the waist, lean forward. From the hips. Now turn your entire shoulders toward your left side. Take your right elbow over the left knee and right shoulder up. Those who can, right arm going down toward the foot, left arm up, five, four, three, two, one. Namaskar Mudra. Inhaling, come up. Ashvasanchalana. Left foot back. Thank. Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Knees down. Take your seat bones toward the heels, head down. Relax your shoulders. If you're not able to um, get a balance in Pasha corner, with the Pasha corner, the wall as a support. And as you get strength and balance, you can practice without the wall. 
all the um, props are to be discarded as you get stronger and more stable. But props are okay to begin the journey. Remember, we are trying to simply reach for the edge as it exists today. Actually, our own edge could be different in the morning versus the evening. So no assumptions about our edges. We discover them all and you take a deep breath exhale. Mm -hmm. Come to Vajrasana. You can make palms up front, take palms up front. Okay. But others, stretch. Vajrasana. Take a deep breath. Come to normal cross leg posture. Let's do a very simple twist from Sukhasana. Take your right arm behind you. Keep the right elbow close to the body throughout the practice. Left hand on the right knee. Turn your shoulders with your left palm. Bring your left shoulder forward towards the left knee. Right shoulder turns toward the back wall. Remember to keep the right elbow close to the body. Straighten up the spine. Turn your head over the right shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling center. Relax. Take a deep breath. Take your left arm behind your body. Keep your left shoulder close to the body. Right hand on the left knee. Take your left shoulder to the back as you gently, with your hand, right hand on the left knee, bring the right shoulder toward the left, sorry, right knee. Left, right shoulder towards the left knee. Left shoulder going back, straighten up the spine. Bring the left elbow close to the body. Turn your head and look over the right, left shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale center. Lying down on your back. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Massaging your entire spine and the muscles that hold your spine up. Then settle back down and then roll side to side. Massaging the side muscles. Then settle back down. Release the legs. Make any final movements you feel necessary before surrendering in Shavasana.
resting your awareness on your abdomen. Being present to each breath. Relax. Relax. Keep the mind wandering away from the breath to the past or the future without feeling bad about it. Simply begin again. Being present without any strain. You need to force your attention. Simply that your attention on your abdomen. Gently come to sitting. Take your time. Taking your hands back, inhale, going taller, exhaling, bending forward, thanking Mother Earth. Inhaling, rubbing your palms, vigorously generating feet, massaging your toes, eyes with your digit palms, gently blinking your eyes open. Namaste. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. A good evening and a good day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Good day. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you, Ji, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.